Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm ready to talk about makeup that is. Makeup from 2021 that I discovered, I have some that I did not like that were a major fail and some products that I loved. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my fails so I can end on a happy note. My nails, my fingernails were really looking good. I buff them and, and they looked so nice and they were so hard and I was thrilled with it. And I thought, well, I'm gonna buy some nail polish because I'm not one much on nail polish. And I bought two bottles of OPI and I had an empty bottle because I like to mix because I really wanted something that was just like a little bit better than my nail color, but not much, nothing that was distracting to me. Oh my gosh, I wore this on and off for about two weeks. My nails got so soft, and I don't know, it may be something entirely different, but I'm not gonna use these again. And they started splintering. So it's just about ready to grow out. I probably have about half of a nail left to grow out, and I don't think I'll ever wear nail polish again. Perhaps I could have put a base coat on that was uh, that would help that, but you know I'm a slacker, so I'm not gonna do that, but that was a fail. I don't have it here, but the Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner were a fail, and I really feel like I had some hair loss after I used it, And but it hasn't caused my daughter any problems whatsoever, but that was a fail for me. Another fail for me was a huge disappointment you know, I love superhero mascara. There's quite a few things I love from It Cosmetics and their no tug gel uh, eyeliner was my all time favorite until I found Milk. And Milk's quit making theirs and lo and behold, It Cosmetics came up with superhero no tug gel eyeliner. The only place I use an eyeliner is, is on my upper water line and I take it into my lashes. Well, I just thought, man, I've got exactly what I want. And I don't mind if you have to sharpen them. That doesn't bother me at all. This is when you sharpen. So, you know, the first thing I did was swatch it. And that color I thought was really pretty. Let it set for a little while and smudged it. And it, it didn't smudge. And I thought, wow, I've got it. And I put it in my upper water line. It didn't stay any time. So I was very disappointed. It, if you use it for your upper above your lashes, it will work fine. But for me, it did not work at all for my upper waterline. I don't want it to transfer to the bottom and I just want it to stay all day and not have to worry about it. So this was a fail. And my other two were from Buxom and I love Buxom products. And these are two of, I think they're full on plumping lip lipsticks or lip glosses. And I'll show you the colors are gorgeous. Both of them, I loved both of them. They were both up my alley in the shade, but they creeped out of my lips and I don't ever have any problem. Anything I talk about stays fine in my lips, but this didn't, this just kinda slid around. I will use these, they're not gonna go to waste, but I don't wanna leave the house with it on because they weren't good. So those are my fails, so I got those over with. This is in no particular order. I bought this on June 21st, 2021, and it's by The Ordinary, and it's a glycolic acid 7% toning solution. Well, I was a huge fan of the 30% AHA, 2% BHA red peel. My skin loved it until it didn't. So I had to quit using that. So what I do with this, once a week or maybe twice, but you know, I mean, that's how much I've used. Uh, and I've been good with my skincare. <laughs> I have not slacked on skincare. So when I get up in the morning, when I go into the bathroom, I take a warm, real nubby, very cheap washcloth and I will put it on my face, I'll pat it on my face, and then I gently exfoliate my skin. And I don't wash my skin in the morning. So what I used to do, I would come right into the bedroom and I'd use my Miracle Water. This has been my favorites for several years, and I use one bottle a year. That's how little I use. But anyway, I put that on a quarter of a shishado pad. Well, I noticed I was getting some flaky things, so I decided to try this, and whenever my skin looks a little bit flaky. I put it on a quarter of a shishado pad. I take it all over my face. I avoid the eye area, but I put it all over my face and my neck. And one 
quite cotton square cover. I mean, one quarter of the cotton square covers it. But I have to take it off in about mm, 15 or 20 minutes or so because I tried leaving it on my face all day and that didn't work. So after I do this and I go in with Miracle Water. But I tell you what, I know I think this is $8.70 and I just used just the right amount for me. So I wanted to tell you this is a winner. And anything that I mentioned, I have purchased myself. I want to let you know that. This product has been a huge, huge winner to me. It's by Dermatology. It's a universal tint and moisturizer, SPF 46. I use it as a moisturizer and it is doesn't have any coverage. And that's okay that it doesn't have any coverage, but I put it on my face. I put it all over my face. I don't put it on my eyelids because if I wanna wear eyeshadow, I can't put anything but primer on my eyelids. And I love it. It took the place of the Benigma. I loved Benigma. I love the way it felt on my skin. And this feels the same. I, I purchased, they sent me one and I've purchased two of them. And I will continue repurchasing the, this. And I can't imagine. See, I'm not one to go try a bunch of other things. Once I find something that works, I stick with it. And when I found this, I, I was really, really happy. Okay, today I have on some foundation, and I'll tell you what it is in a few minutes, but I don't have any powder. I don't have any, the only thing I have on some blush, but it doesn't have any sparkles in it. The product that I'm gonna show you, I think I first heard about it from Natalie the Beauty Diva. Then I remember Glitzy Fritzy talking about it. And then I watched somebody put it on, and I'll tell you who it was. It was Tamara from Tamara's Ageless Beauty, and it's by Charlotte Tilbury, and it is the Flawless Filter, and I bought the mini size, but I can't see me needing any more than that. But I'm gonna turn on this light right here. I have a lighted mirror. I haven't tried this on camera before, but I wanna see if you can see what it does. Okay, there's a the light. I'm gonna put a tiny dot there, 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 and then I'm just gonna smooth it out. Let's see if that shows. I don't know if that shows good enough or not, but I, I, I can tell a big difference. I need to put it on the other side because I've got to get my taxes done today. And, uh, but it does not bring any attention to any fine lines and it just leaves a very, very pretty glow. And had I not seen Tamara, Tamara's, I think she's 62. And had I not seen her put it on and see how beautiful it was, I never would have purchased it. But I'm really happy with it. Two foundations I purchased this year that I like a lot. And I've worn them in videos. And, and I may put a little bit of film up here showing me wearing it. Well, I will. I'll put a picture or something up here. It's the Clearing BB Cream by Purita. I love it. It get, gives a natural glow, and I don't powder after I put on any foundation. I just have not gotten started in that habit. I will use powder foundation, and I like it, but not on top of foundation. So I bought this, and Zuli, one of my viewers, told me about this. And then my friend Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats talked so much about the Too Faced Found Sealer that I bought it in the mini and I bought it in two different shades and both of the shades worked well. I love both of these. Today what I did, I had mixed some of my It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream in this little tiny jar with some Purito BB Cream and I knew that I needed to use it because I, I you know, I made quite a bit. So that's what I have on today. But I don't, I don't have, I can use both of them separately. And I did not know for sure when I was getting ready if I was gonna film a video today. So that's, I would have put this on. One of my big finds for the year that I love is the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. It stays put in my upper waterline. The color is blue and it's a dark blue, but it's blue enough that it does make that. That's the only color I use in my upper waterline is navy blue. I'll, I'll use a bright blue. I'll use any blue that stays put all day long. And I do take mine from this end all the way over because my eyes are kind of wide set and I don't, I don't want, you know, I, I, I want them to kind of come in a little bit, but I was very, very happy 
They also, on this end, has a little smudger. I don't use that, but I'm thrilled to death to have a drugstore eyeliner that stays put. And there, and I don't know, I don't mention it all the time, but I always put it in the information. I only buy cruelty-free makeup. So there's a lot, a lot of wonderful dupes of different products from L'Oreal or Maybelline or Revlon or quite a few of the others, but they're not cruelty-free. So I don't know about those, but Milani is cruelty-free and I love this eyeliner. Okay, now we're gonna talk about my very favorite subject and that is lipstick. I have three top formulas and lipsticks and I wanna talk about them, but I know what my number one is. And I went, I would put half in this side, half on this side. Jim probably, I keep something on my lips all day long. And sometimes he'd kind of look at me like, what are you doing? But the three things that I like, I like the It Pillow Lips. And I like, there's two shades I like. And this is Wish List. I love the formula. I like the way it makes my lips feel. I like the longevity. And I do like it. And I have repurchased that. I also really like the It Pillow Lips Solid Serum. And you click it up one time and it gives you enough to coat both of your lips really well <laughs> without clicking it again. And it's just beautiful. And it, the same thing, it feels really good and, and I just really like it. The next thing I was really impressed with is from Sigma and it is the Renew Lip Oil. I one time bought some YSL lip oil that I absolutely loved. I was so happy with it. And then I found out that it was YSL was not cruelty free. That was probably six years ago or so. But I've been on the lookout for a good lip oil and this is one. I'm very, I'm very pleased with it. It feels so good on my lips. It kind of leaves a little bit of a stain, but it's not real long wearing, but I really do like it. But I'll swatch that for you. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I will do my best to show you how much color there is. And there it is, right there. And for my very favorite, this paint comes from BK Beauty. If, if I love Lisa J, and I love her company, but I wouldn't be talking about her lipsticks if they were not fantastic. And here is what I have on today. I've, I've, I need to order another one of these. This is called Passion. I have it on without lip liner. I never put on lip liner unless I tell you because you know I derma roll my lips and I do that to keep them full and keep the wrinkles at bay around the top. And if I put lip liner on, I feel like I'm cheating and like trying to make my lips appear larger. But I'm gonna go ahead and put some on right now to show you how beautiful it is. I love that you can put it on after your lipstick Kind of got a little divot right there. Didn't mean to do that, but it is, it's beautiful. It really is. Lisa's lipsticks, BK Beauty's lipsticks are, have a magnetic lid. And if you put two side by side and turn them upside down, they'll stick together. You know what I think would be great if this had a little bit of a magnet that would stick with that. So that would be good. It would be good for me because sometimes I've been known to misplace lip liners. So those are all, those are my fails and my favorites that I was ready to talk about. And I have used makeup during the last couple of years. I just haven't been as excited about it as I had been my whole life, but I, I bet that's kind of changing. And if you're still here, this is gonna be a giveaway and I'm excited about it. I, you know, I love Lisa J's makeup brushes. I do, she sent me this and it's a travel set of brushes. First thing I did, I wash every brush before I use it, and there's five brushes, but there's plenty of room for more, and there's room here. Well, I knew I loved it, and I knew I wanted somebody on my channel to have one. It had the mini 101 brush, and I tell you, this is the only brush throughout my history of YouTube that I will use with a wet foundation, and, and I love it. A blush brush. And like today, my eye look, which is not dramatic, but I'm not dramatic with my eye looks, I did my eye look with these three brushes. When I went to Lisa's website to order this brush set for one of you, here's the brush, and also it came along with a free eyeshadow palette, and I'll show you my eyeshadow palette. So this is one gift that I'm gonna give away. 
and here's the palette. It is gorgeous. If you want a like va va voom eyeshadow look, you'll have to build this up. I just prefer a more natural lid for me, and I'm loving it. And the other person is going to get the set of five lipsticks. And I'll tell you how this came about. When I had my giveaway, I don't remember, it was several months ago, I had several items in it, and one of them was a set of lipsticks that I purchased because I loved her lipsticks so much I had to go purchase them. So you guys, somebody could try them. There were three winners. Two were in the United States and one was in Canada. Well, at the time, COVID was so bad around here. I wasn't going in anywhere and Jim hasn't been any place for a long time. I can mail from my home. I can, the post office will pick it up. But if you're doing something international, you need to go inside and fill out the paperwork. And I mean, it's not a problem unless there's COVID everywhere. So I contacted Lisa's husband, Paul, and I asked if I could buy a set of five if they would just send them directly to to my winner. And he said, no, we'll just send you uh, send your winner all five of the lipsticks. So they paid the postage and they sent the lipstick on to my win winner from Canada. And I just thought that was super nice. So this one I will be sending to you, even if you live wherever you live, all my giveaways are international. I've never had a giveaway that was not international. Our COVID numbers are down so great. I go, I would go in the post office. So since this is a giveaway, I cannot reply to comments. But if you leave a question or any older video that I have, I will get right back to you. So the only thing you have to be entered, only thing you have to do to be entered to win is you just need to leave a comment below and you need to be 18 years old or older. And I want you to say what you want in a sentence. And I either I want you to say brushes, or lips. And if you want the lips first, you just use that first in the sentence. And if you want the brushes first, you use that in the sentence. You use the word brush in a sentence, or you can use both. It doesn't matter. But the first person that comes up through random comment picker will get their first choice. I was happy to do this. I've been waiting to do this. And we still haven't had surgery. It, we're on the books. We've got all the pre-op appointments to do. And I probably will have another video up in two weeks. But, but we'll just see. Anyway, it is all good. Thank you so much for the prayers. Thank you for everything you do, for watching, for giving me the thumbs up. That helps if you give me the thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Through wrong, can't, mm, mm, mm. I tell you it, what, it, I had mixed some of the, the brush set. So one person's gonna get the brush. They, and I still don't really, and uh, I, let me think.